Well, we were real excited. Last week, the way we competed at Michigan, it was awesome. We finally put together all four events and scored the second highest road score in school history with a 196.7. Um, we knew we had the capability of doing that. We'd seen glimmers of that in every one of the meets so far this year. You know, but we'd hit two meets and then we'd stumble around on two. We'd hit three meets and then have falls on another uh, event. And when you score 47s, you're not going to put up great big team totals. So we were uh, thrilled. The training that we did after Nebraska, where they had fallen on the final event, um, paid off when we went to Michigan. We were in a similar situation. We were only down by one-tenth of a point uh, to the number three team in the country going into balance beam. And we went over there, we hit all of our routines. Uh, we did it in front of our men's basketball team, which was really cool. They came out to support us. And uh, we're looking to build off of that this weekend against Michigan State. Well, the thing we saw most was just uh, more confidence. At the end of the Michigan meet, the kids really, they knew that they were gonna hit their routines. They knew that the person in front of them and the person behind them were all gonna hit their routines too. So we've just continued to build on that this week in practice. Um, lots of numbers, we've done some inner squads, and they've done a great job. So we expect the same type of result uh, with Balance Beam being the third event and going and finishing strong on floor this weekend. Yeah, we're so excited for Maddie Miriams, our co-captain, one of our two seniors. Uh, finally got the recognition I think she deserved. Uh, there were other times this year where she put up big scores, but there was someone else in the Big Ten that scored higher. Uh, this past weekend she was named co event specialist of the week for her 995 on vault and uh, her 99 on floor. And the 99 on floor is especially important because she followed Lexi Carroll who fell on her second pass. So there was a, an extreme amount of pressure on her to go out there and deliver for her team and to put up that 99 was incredible. So congrats to Maddie. Yeah, this team, I think everyone knows, half the team are, are new girls this year and now going into the eighth meet of the season, they're no longer freshmen. Um, they, they know what to expect, we know what to expect from them, but uh, we knew we were going to take our lumps early and that it would take some time for them to come around, but now we're in a position where uh, everybody feels confident in what they're doing, everyone feels confident in each other, and that makes for a team that can go out there and just perform. Yeah, we're super excited to be back home in Rec Hall, another double dual meet with our men, and uh, we're we're happy to be back. We're excited to be back in front of our home fans. We've had great crowds so far this season, and we hope the weather doesn't keep people away. Uh, we're looking for another 3,000 to show up and uh, cheer on the blue and white this weekend.